That's the integrate sine to the fourth power x. Unfortunately, we don't have the cosine x right here, so we cannot use u substitution right away. Also, if you look at sine to the fourth power, if you want to break this apart as sine to the third power times sine to the first power, we are going to have a hard time to write sine to the third power in terms of cosine with a nice form. Let's not do that. This is how we are going to do it. And remember, we can only look at sine to the second power because we only have the identity for that. So, I will purposely look at sine to the fourth power s sine to the second power x raised to the second power. So that will be the strategy. And whenever you are trying to deal with the integral of sine to the even power, we have to use the power reduction formula as many times as we need to. We have to do it twice here. You will see. So once I have sine to the second power x, I have two choices. I'm not going to look at this as 1 minus cosine squared, because that's just as hard as the original. Power reduction formula. Sine squared x is the same as 1 half, and we have parentheses 1 minus cosine of 2x. Okay, so you see, this is sine to the second power, but then this expression is just cosine to the first power, and that's what I mean by the power reduction formula. However, we still have the parentheses raised to the second power, and then don't forget we haven't done anything with the integral yet, so let's put this down. That's what we have. All right, you see, this right here is a one half. It's a constant multiple with this expression, so we can just look at this, look at this as one half to the second power, which is a constant multiple that constant is one over four. I can take out the one over four to the front. One half to the second power, one over four all the way in the front, and we have the integral. And then the inside here is just going to be 1 minus cosine of 2x and then raised to the second power, dx. And now what? We have the 1 over 4 in front, and then we still have the integral. But then, how can we integrate this? Well, we have to expand this out. 1 minus cosine of 2x to the second power, we have to write this down twice. 1 minus cosine 2x times 1 minus cosine of 2x, and then we are going to multiply this out. 1 times 1 is just 1, and then 1 times negative cosine of 2x, along with negative cosine 2x times 1. We have two of them. So minus 2 cosine of 2x. And then negative cosine of 2x times negative cosine of 2x, that's positive cosine square of 2x. And as you can see, now we can integrate term by term. This is easy. That's also easy. How can we integrate this power reduction formula again? Because here we have cosine to the second power of 2x. So I will just write this down right here. Focus on cosine to the second power of 2x. By the power reduction formula for cosine, this is the same as 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2 times this angle. Whenever if you start with the second power, if you want to reduce the power, this is always going to be cosine of the double angle of that. So it's 2 times 2x. Okay. So once again, power reduction formula is 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2 times this angle. So we are actually going to end up with 4x. And let's just finish this up real quick because we have to distribute this again. And then remember, this right here is just for this parentheses. I cannot take the 1 half out to the integral sign. So I have to distribute the 1 half, and that's pretty, it's not that bad, I would say, it's pretty. <laughs> 1 half times 1 is just 1 half, and then 1 half times that is plus 1 half, and we have cosine of 2 times 2x, which is 4x. This part is for that, and now we can look at this integral, which is 1 over 4 times the integral, we have the 1, right here, but then we have another one half here, they are numbers, combined items. One plus one half is three half. And let's write this down, minus two cosine of two x, and then we have this part from the, for that. Um, this is plus one over two cosine of four x. We're finally ready to integrate. <laughs> All right, this is one over four, and let's open the parentheses for the uh, integrals. Integral of 3 half in the x row is just 3 over 2x. Integral of 
cosine, it's positive sine. So the negative will stay the same, and the input will stay the same. But then, whenever you do it backwards, you have to divide it by the derivative inside. The derivative of 2x is 2. So you see, 2, that's the original, but then I have to divide it by 2, just like that. All right, this part, let me write down plus, and then we have the 1 over 2 right here, if you would like. And then um, the antiderivative of cosine is sine, and the input will stay the same. But then I have to divide it by the derivative inside, which is just 1 over 4. Or I can multiply by 1 over 4, like this. We are done. But then let's just distribute 1 over 4 into the parentheses. Final answer. 1 over 4 times 3 over 2x is 3 over 8x. And then 1 over 2 times this is negative 1, right? So we have 1 over 4. So we're minus 1 over 4 sine of 2x, and then 1 over 4 times 1 half times 1 over 4. It's going to be what? Plus 1 over 32, and then sine of 4x. So we are done. Plus C. This right here is the answer.